Yo guys, uh, I've just finished watching the new Mandalorian episode and I've got to say I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, I thought the next episode would be interesting and exciting because Boba showed up at the end. But it was very lacklustre if I'm being honest. Uh, like Mandalorian said at the start, it's like a taxi service gone wrong. Uh, my arachnophobia kind of came out due to the massive spiders thingies that were there. Um, at the start, I saw a lot of potential in the episode, um, but um, it just went downhill. The funniest thing about it was Yoda, well, the child eating the eggs, and that was about it. Um, but overall, it was just a bit bland and unnecessary. But I just really, I didn't really see the point in that episode of uh, Mandalorian. It was just, it was unneeded. Uh, and the way they ended it, of them just floating through space. I mean, we know he's going to get to tracks. It's not like he's going to find himself in Narnia or something. He's gonna get there, like start next episode, but the could just include that in this episode. And just overall very disappointed. The music was okay. The dialogue, uh a bit off and so overall I just did not enjoy this episode. Uh if I'd give it a rating like last time, I'd give it a three. Um I feel like I'm being kind with the three here. Uh, it's probably one of the worst Mandalorian episodes I've seen. Um, I'm disappointed, mostly. Uh, just one second, guys. This episode could have been a lot better, if I'm being honest. Um, obviously, it's my instant reaction, so they might change over time, but overall, I'm just not impressed, and I've been let down here. Uh, We see the New Republic, which is cool, uh, but nothing much. I thought they'd be an integral part of the story, but they weren't. They were just an excuse for Mando to crash land in a cave, which was very unnecessary. Um, like I've said already, uh, it's probably the worst Mando episode I've seen. Um, I expected better. I expect better. And I am outraged at this. I'm very disappointed by the uh, director here. Just sorry, guys. I don't really have a lot to say. It's just I'm very let down right now. Uh, after defending the first episode so much, due to me enjoying it, this second episode's really not going to help me here, and I'm just very pissed off. And it's just. I don't know why they made this episode. It's just unwanted. It's not really meant to be there. I mean, if they're going to make filler episodes for an eight episode season, then why won't you just make it a six episode season? It's. That's how it should be, but you know. Like, this was very vaguely going towards the story point of season 2. Where if he delivered whatever his whatever her fucking name was to her, to where she used to go, where tra Trask Hob. Then he'd find the Mandalorian, but it went vaguely on them guidelines there, of that episode. And to be fair, I forgot about the Mandalorian part after 10 minutes. It was just they didn't keep to that storyline, and it's just sad. Like I want to see Mando season two do better than season one, but I can't do that, or Disney can't do that if they do episodes like this. These episodes need to be action packed. And I know season three is going to start filming any day now, but you got to realise that. Um, it's just 
Mandalorian was one of the most popular TV shows last year. And with these episodes here, you're gonna ruin it. And you can't ruin Mandalorian. And that's your, that's your biggest, like, moneymaker at the moment, Disney. Besides with merch, which not a lot of people can buy. You've disappointed me. You're gonna disappoint a lot of fans. I know Onzo's gonna be very disappointed. Which, I'll probably talk to him about it later, but a lot of people I know is going to be very disappointed in this episode. If I find someone who does like it, then I, will, I want to see why they like it. But yeah guys, uh, that's it for me today. I'm off going to sort out my, my runny nose. Uh, but until next time guys, uh, tomorrow I've got a video on a stream coming up. Uh, the video, you'll all enjoy the stream. It's a Forza Motorsport 7 stream with three unknown guests, uh, I'll tell you one now, it's going to be uh, JJ, uh, obviously saw him last weekend, uh, and yeah, uh, I hope you all, you all enjoy this video, which I know most of you won't because it's just a bit random and unauthentic, but yeah, take care guys, uh, peace.